Hello everybody, we've got another limited time series at hand. As you can see, it's for Lambo Hurricane Super Trofeo Evo. Uh, it's an older car and this limited time series will run through next Monday, February 8th. So it's a little bit shorter limited time series. It'll still have 15 tiers, 45 trophies to win. Uh, for if you don't own this car already winning the car which is worth 460 gold um, plus 35 gold and 250,000 racing dollars yeah they got uh, I think they're trying to squeeze in more events into shorter time period here since uh, aside from this limited time series we also have the final 2020 Formula One Grand Prix um, event at the uh, circuit of the americas uh, that we have yet to go through in a matter of a couple of days i think it starts and then we got another um limited time series after that for uh another lambo uh venino right so another older car but uh yeah so we'll talk about that when that opens up but for now let's talk about the matter at hand uh, super Trofeo Evo. Alright, so um, Enter now Lamborghini Hurricane Super Trofeo Evo Championship Earn a Lamborghini Hurricane Super Trofeo Evo by 100% completing this special limited time series the EVO update harnesses redesigned aerodynamics to take the track only hurricane to the next level yeah, look at the gigantic wing on the back. <laughs> Pretty cool. Decent car, by the way. Um, the Hurricanes are like the Lamborghini's version of uh, 911s. We have so many of them in the game. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, Real Racing 3, if you take away all the 911s and the Hurricanes, there won't be too many cars left. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here is the breakdown of the, the rewards broken down into 25% uh, completion increment. The total is 35 gold, so, you know, 25% get you 5 gold, 50% get you additional 5 gold. And 75% gets you additional 10 gold, and then remaining 25%, the 100% completion gets you 15 gold. So, eh, it's all right. And on their site, they have mentioned the PR requirement is going to be 67.3. So, let's uh, quickly jump ahead here and confirm real quick and by the way this car is featured in just a single bonus series um, called Trofeo Trials which you'll find in elite section of the road collection yeah that one <laughs> So, yeah, just a single uh, bonus series event. And oh, look at that. Apparently, mine's fully upgraded. I guess I'll have to run through so I can now win this car more or less for free. Um, they must have offered us an uh, upgrade discount while this car was uh, featured in weekly time trial. Yeah, I don't even know what car I have on this account uh, and what how many upgrades I have. Um, so final tier, tier 15 is going to be at Silverstone International. And yes, PR requirement is 67.3. All right. And uh, I believe um, the way you and look, looks like you also get um, full 24 hours of instant service which is nice that's a nice generous offer so you can complete this bonus series and 
jump on ahead to the Trophier Trials. That bonus series, remember, is a single car bonus series. Uh, there's another additional 65 gold to be won from that event. So if you win this car from here, that should, um, you know, with a PR 67.3, that should get you pretty close to 100% completing that uh, bonus series as well. Uh, more like 75% completion because that series requires PR 69. Um, which is nearly fully upgraded. Anyway, uh, to meet the PR requirement, obviously I'm fully upgraded here, so eh, it's kind of moot point for me to go through here, but uh, or I cannot tell you definitively, I cannot show you, but I'll tell you. <laughs> and I also have all this information in the description box below, so you guys can uh, check it out. I don't think you can quite get exactly 67.3. I think you'll end up with a 67.4 uh, by getting five upgrades in engine and three in drivetrain. And you have to max out body, four upgrades on body, and also max out suspension because there are only three tiers of upgrades uh, in suspension category for this car. Uh, you just need three upgrades on exhaust and max out brakes at three and also max out tires and wheels for all four upgrades. Uh, and that will cost you 394 gold and 1,089,500 racing dollars. So there should be a full day of um, instant R&D for the racing dollar upgrades as well so um yeah so that will do it for uh what you're gonna need and normally your car would not look like this when you first start the event it should look more like uh, one of these colors right i think this is the, typically the finish that you get but uh looks like um oh look at that color Pretty cool. Some fun colors available once you fully upgrade. For free, so you can switch things around. That's fun. Not to mention the usual uh, finishes here. And you can also um, customize with vinyl pack. So that's cool. Anyway, um, let's uh, check out the event itself. By the way, this car, uh, base PR is 52.4. And as you saw, when you max it out, it does go up to 69.3. So that's a span of some 16.9 PR points. Um, and the racing dollar upgrades only. There are nine available before you have to spend gold. Will bring your PR up to 57.9. So here, let's check tier four and find out. 57.5. All right, so considering that uh, racing dollar upgrades alone will bring your PR up to 57.9, obviously you can complete 25% um, without spending any gold and uh, win five gold 25 percent completion reward i know not much but hey better than nothing right all right so let's check out the series itself tier one we got endurance at silverstone grand prix elimination at dubai club and cup for tier one as suzuka east and just a single lap, so it's gonna be a pretty quick event. And then tier two, we got autocross at Daytona um, road course. So yeah, autocross or speed snap, all those at Daytona tends to take uh, one of the longer ones. Like Daytona and Nurburgring are two circuits that definitely I know all those 
events that could be shorter are not that short. <laughs> anyway, uh, then we got Speed Snap at Melbourne, which is actually pretty quick. So that's a nice uh, quick event. And uh, look at that, Speak of the Devil. We got a cup at Nürburgring Grand Prix. And just a single lap cup with a PR 55.1 required. All right, continuing on to tier three, we got head to head at Hockenheim National. It's gonna be a night race, just a single lapper. And we got a drag race at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix and the cup for tier three at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. Two laps, PR 56.4 is required. All right, and that gets us to the 25% completion tier, tier four. Autocross at Cir uh, the Catalunya Grand Prix. And uh, let's see, we got Speed Snap at the Brickyard and the Cup at Manza Junior Course. Eh, only two laps with a PR 57.5 required, right as we checked out earlier. So, so far, these events are pretty short, pretty short uh, races. Um, for limited time series, I don't mind at all. <laughs> That's perfectly fine by me. All right, and then moving on, tier five, we got endurance at Suzuka West, elimination at Daytona Motorcycle Course, and the cup for tier five at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. Two laps with a PR 58.5 required. And tier six, we got autocross at Melbourne, head to head at Porsche Test Track, uh, long on road circuit. Probably just a single lap, yep. And the cup for tier six at Hockenheim Grand Prix, another night race, two laps with a PR 59.4 required. All right, tier seven, we got speed step at Suzuka Grand Prix, endurance at the National Circuit section of Red Bull Ring. And Tier 7 Cup is at Catalunya Grand Prix. Two laps, PR 60.3 is what's required. And that gets us to Tier 8, your 50% completion tier, uh, which starts off with a drag race at Monza Road, um, road Course and the uh, Autocross at Laguna Seca and the cup at Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. And it's gonna be two laps with a PR 61.2 required. All right, so two laps around Sprint Circuit, pretty quick. All right, uh, tier nine, you got Hunter as Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix. So that's a full lap, head to head at the Bridge Grand Prix Circuit of Silverstone. So that's also gonna be a full lap. And the cup is going to be a Daytona road course, two laps with a PR62 required. Tier 10, Endurance at Melbourne, Autocross at the uh, Brickyard, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, road course, and the cup at Catalunya Club Circuit. All right, that's a short circuit. Dizzing six laps with a PR62.8 required. Continuing on, tier 11, we got Elimination at Hockenheim Short. Night race, uh, we're doing a lot of Hockenheim night race these days, aren't we? Um, and we got Speed Snap at Dubai International. And another night race, this one, the Cup at Bugatti Circuit. Three laps with a PR 63.6 required. All right, and then tier 12, of course, is your 75% completion tier. We got head to head at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix, single lapper, and a hunter at Mount Panorama. So that's a full lap around the Bathurst circuit. And then tier 12 cup is going to be at Monza Road Course, two laps with a PR 64.5 required. All right, so continuing on to tier 13, we got autocross at the Leipzig uh, short on-road circuit, the Porsche test track, of course, 
And then we got speed record at Nurburgring Grand Prix. Another night race. Look at that. And then cup for tier 13, it's gonna be at Laguna Seca, four laps with a PR 65.4 required. All right, the pen ultimate tier, tier 14. We got head to head at the Bugatti circuit in the morning, single lapper. And then we got speed snap at Catalunya Club. And for Closing out tier 14, we got Cup at Suzuka Grand Prix, two laps with a PR 66.3 required. All right, that takes us to the final tier, tier 15. Uh, we got Elimination at Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course, Autocross at Hockenheim Short, and the final Cup at Silverstone International Circuit, four laps with a PR 67.3 required. All right, so that is uh, kind of generous that they are offering us not just three hour instant service, but the uh, full day. So that is always welcomed, of course. Um, anyway, so there you go. So as I said, decent car. Unfortunately, it's featured on just the one single bonus uh, series. At least at the moment, maybe they're signaling possibly in near future they will get us uh, maybe an exclusive series, <laughs> yet another single car bonus series, right? Uh, series, right? So we'll see. Um, it'll be nice to have a series featuring all the hurricanes, for example. That'll be kind of cool. We got enough to fill up a whole series, I think. Um, but anyway, that will do it for this video. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.